We're having our dinner tonight with uh, the whole team, and uh, the freshmen have been here a couple of days doing some processing and, and getting ready for uh, for school. But tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, we're out there. We have a, about 105 players. We have 30 new players in the, on our team, so that's exciting, and, and I'm kind of wondering how they're going to do. That's probably what we'll be evaluating in the first couple of practices, how our new players are and how we can get them involved in the team. And then also just going back to fundamentals and making sure that we're blocking, tackling, we're protecting the football when we have it, when we have the ball and we're trying to get after it and knock it out when the, when the opponent has it. So just basic fundamentals for the first uh, probably week and a half. Yes, we're, we're our players, coaches, everybody's enthused. I think the, the new coaches that we have on the staff, we have three new coaches on defense, Andre Patterson, defensive coordinator, and uh, Adam Gonzaga, and Robert Rodriguez, uh, El Paso's finest, um, are coming back uh, new to the defensive staff, and that's given us a little enthusiasm on that, that side of the ball. But I think the best thing about this team is, is the senior leadership, and the, the seniors and the, uh, have taken over the team, they're really more involved than any team that I've had here before and uh, I think that I think that we have number one talent and I think number two that we're motivated and when you have motivated talent then your success rate goes way up. Just this first day was more compliance, uh, filling out forms, uh, making sure we do the, everything done by the NC2A. Tonight we're going to meet and visit with them and, and try to get them ready to go and inspire them uh, for tomorrow's practice. But everyone is always excited about the first practice. I'm actually really excited. Um, I was talking to Trevor the other day and we were talking about how we plan on breaking the record going well above what, he, what we did last year. Oh, I'm most definitely ready. I'm excited. I, I've been working hard for this my whole life. This is... I've, I've always been at a running running school other than here, and now I finally get a chance to be able to pass the school and get my opportunity. I'm ready to take full advantage of it. This is great. We're actually uh, closer than we've ever been. Guys are working harder than they've they ever been because they know that, you know, everyone believes this is our year. And so it's, it's just been very great, and we have people that, you know, listen to each other. We did in the past, and it's even better now, so I'm just loving the way everyone's attitude is. Personally, for myself, I want to, as a receiver, I want to go over 1,000 yards and uh, have about, I want to say about 12 touchdowns, and also at, still averaging over 15 yards a catch. Um, as a kickoff returner, I want at least two kickoff returns ran back, and I want to average about anywhere about 30 to 35 yards uh, a carry. Now, team goals, the, the number one team goal for us is to win conference. That's my, that's, that's. Point blank period. I want to go 14 and 0. Uh, guys are more excited. Uh, they, they're believing even more in our system. Last year, I have to say, it was some people that were kind of skeptical and things like that. But now, uh, players have taken control of the system more so. We've uh, coach have put a bigger role on us, and guys are a lot more excited about the season. I'm very excited. You know, I mean, we put in a lot of work this off season. You know, we've had a good leadership style this year, the things we're doing, the new things we're doing, and um, I'm really excited for the season. I feel like this group is really ready to go. Uh, goals personally, I feel like I, mean, I want to be a dominant player on special teams. I want to be able to make plays and be a starter on a few special teams and make good plays. On defense, I want to be an impact player. I want to go in two days and uh, earn a spot on this defense or a starting spot. I want to have an opportunity to play big plays and make huge plays throughout the year uh, from uh, getting to my right gap on a certain play from making the big tackle and so forth. For the team, um, I want us to go 14 0. Like I said, like Donovan said earlier, I mean, I want to go 14 0. I don't see like I don't feel like that we I don't see that we can't do that. I mean, we got the team, we got the talent, and we got the leadership right now, and we got the the motivation to do that. Well, I mean, this new defense is very good. I mean, I like Coach Patterson, I like our assistant coaches. They're very motivated and they're getting everyone in the right spots and everyone to do the right things. And uh, everyone's earning their spot. You know, it's not. Uh, a biased coaching staff. They they're going to put the best people out there to, to play, and I like that. And the system, I think, is good for the type of athletes we have here at UTEP and for me. And and it's all about us making plays and getting, being doing our job. If we do our job, we're going to make things happen. And I'm really excited about that. This well, in terms of linebacker, I mean, we have we're more gap gap assignment wise. Uh, last year was more get off the block and make a play um, in terms of everything else. But that's that's the main difference. I think just having more gap gap uh, situations and that's that's what I like.
Uh, I'm trying to like uh, put myself in their shoes, like how I was, when I was a freshman, just feel like everybody's new, so I'm trying to um, welcome them in with open arms and not let them feel like they're sick or whatever. So I'm just trying to give them a whole other look at uh, Utah. I look pretty big. I mean, we've got a lot of big uh, O linemen, a lot of big D linemen, got a lot of fast skill guys out here. So I mean, it looks a lot, of, a lot of, like our class we had when we were coming in. So real similar. Yeah, I weighed in at uh, 200 uh, Monday. So. I played at 195 last year, so I should have a little bit of more, um, another aspect to my game. I should run a, run a little harder than I did last year. Not that it's going to be good for us. We won't have that uh, week in the middle where we just have a relaxing week, so we just keep rolling throughout the season. I would do, we've been here for, what, four four years, some of us, five years, some of us, and we haven't really accomplished anything yet. We had four losing seasons, so we have, we're putting a lot on our back right now, we're trying to uh, bring Cole Price to win a season and win a season for ourselves. So we put a lot of pressure that we have to have a winning season this year.